what's going on guys welcome back to sc outdoors doing some fishing on a uh, another spring creek uh, we've had some cold days so figured uh, these spring creeks would be hot um this one i've never been to not a whole lot of access on it it's not a long creek it's unstocked um i believe it's just it's supposed to have some wild fish I'm not sure if it's browns brooks whatever um i'm assuming browns um but it's got that classic spring look a lot of aquatic plants looks good um it basically is fed by two big springs um so it's not very long i have this park that i'm in and then there's one more up towards the headwaters so i'm just gonna you know see if i can find anything in the limited space i have i will give it a shot it feels pretty good out it's only 31 degrees but birds are chirping sun's out feels good whole school of fish in this pool but I don't think they're trout yeah, it looks like mostly shiners possibly a fall fish or two in there could have been a trout with them I mean there's a lot of fish Came out of nowhere. There we go. That's a brown. So mystery solved. Figure that's probably what was gonna be in here. But. All right. So first fish of the day is a small brown. No, you guys tell me, but he almost didn't look that wild. Kind of looked like a fingerling. Had sort of that that uh, pattern that, that stockies do. But he came uh, he came out from under all those trees there. I was just drifting past. He just kind of came out and grabbed it. Like I said, I'm not 100% sold. That wasn't a uh, stock fingerling. I wonder if they they stock any in here. I guess I wouldn't be surprised. I know they do put fingerlings into into uh, streams when they have excess, they just kind of dump them places. So it could have happened, I guess. But hey, I'm glad to get one. Um, I've seen a bunch of fall fish swimming around too. But glad there's trout. we go. Wow, he came out quick. Nice. Another little brown. Fell off the hook for me. Now this one definitely has a wild look to him. Well, I don't know. He kind of looks like a fingerling too. Let me see if I can get some light on him. Like the tail's kind of frayed. I wonder if they put fingerlings in here. It wouldn't like I wouldn't put it past them. I, I just they just don't look that wild to me. Well, we'll see. There are footprints all up and down the creek too, so I'm wondering if somebody else has tried this recently. But I am trying. Like there's not a whole lot of holding water, so I'm trying like every little pocket. I mean, that came out of like four to five inches of water, um, but there's so much of this grass um, and this aquatic plants or whatever it's called. I, I kind of forget at the moment, but, and these fish just hide under it. It kind of reminds me of somewhere like, like Lee Tort Spring. Um, 
or like big big spring something like that but anyways it's number two Hiding place. There we go. Yep, I thought so. Oh, he came off. Now that fish was really yellow. I'm pretty sure that that was a wild fish. I wish I could have got a hold of him. There might be another one in there though. It's a real nice deep drop into these these sticks here. Watched him come out and he just nipped it. He's under those branches. Come out again, buddy. As soon as he bit it, he took off. I don't think he'll come back out. Not the world's easiest cast either. Shame. It's another about roughly the same size as they've all been. Hasn't been the easiest fishing. for whatever reason. I bit it again. guys that is gonna do it probably a quick, pretty quick video um, but I am just about at the headwaters it splits into about two springs two big springs here um, and then it's pretty much done so I uh, just ran out of uh, any holding water at all so that's unfortunate but uh, managed a couple fish I ended up getting bites on probably four or five fish landing a couple of them uh, cool stream though I really like fishing these little spring style streams. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this uh, this quick little uh, little vid. Um, if you did, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you next time here on SC Outdoors.